We could use an error card to pay for Facebook ads in the past. But since early last year, the CBN has prevented any exchange of Naira for dollar and also placed the limits on the Naira debit card. So many of us have been looking for alternatives. One of the alternatives is to use virtual dollar cards provided by various platforms. Some of these virtual dollar cards work with Facebook ads and others don't. In this video, I'll be testing four dollar cards I use often with Facebook ads. We'll be testing GeekPay, Gray, Shipper Cash, and Clasher. I've already showed how to create each of these cards on the channel. I'll place links to those videos in the description below. Also, I'll talk about the issues with using virtual dollar card for Facebook ads and a better option. So let's get into the video. First, I'll be testing my Access Bank debit card to show you guys the error with the Naira debit card. Here is my card ending with 3788. I'll just enter the details here and show you the error we get. Alright, I have to blow the card details for obvious reasons. Let me try and save the card. You can see that the card was declined and this is the error many of us get when we try to link our debit card. So let's test our virtual dollar cards. First, I'll try to link my GeekPay card. But before adding any card, you should set up your account and change the currency to USD. Right now, it is in Naira. So, just have to click on Get Started at the top of your screen. And you can also change the currency on that business info. But I'll click on Get Started up here. Then change the currency from Naira to US dollars. Click on next. You should know that you can also pay for Facebook ads using PayPal. Anyways, we want to add our virtual card, so make sure your debit or credit card is selected. Then click on next. This is where you will enter your card details. So I will head over to GeekPay to copy the card details. And here you can see my card ends in 5919. I'll click on this icon to copy the card details. Then head over to the Facebook to paste them. So I've copied all the t details and the card here ends in 5919 just for you to know that this is GeekPay. I'll click on the save button and let's see if this card will be accepted. Now what happens is that Facebook will try to charge your card but the transaction is zero dollar. You won't be charged but it will just try zero dollar to know if the card is functional. Oh, the card works. <laughs> you can use, you can see the card ends in 5919. So you can use your GeekPay virtual dollar card to pay for Facebook ads. The card works. Next, let's test the gray virtual dollar card. Let's click on add payment method. Select debit or credit card, then click on next. I'll go over to the gray website to copy my card details. You can see that the card ends with 7564. So I'll copy all of these details and paste it on the Facebook website. So I will have to skip this part. I completely submitted all my card details and you can see the card ends with 7564 which is our gray card. Now let's click on the save button and hope this card will work with Facebook ads. And yes, the gray card works with Facebook ads. You can use this card to pay for Facebook ads. You can see the card ended added ends with 7564. Now let's add a new card. This time Clasher. Again Click on Add Payment. I will head over to the Clasher app and copy my card details. So here is the Clasher app. I will click on Show Details. The card here ends with 3012. So I will input all of the card details here. You can see the card ends in 3012. Let's click the Save button and see if the card works and here yeah, the clasher app also works so and you can see we we, ch we were charged zero dollar for this transaction this is just facebook checking if the card can be charged that means you must have you must have phones in any card you are adding again the clasher app works with facebook ads 
you can use the clasher card to make facebook payment lastly let's test the cheaper cash virtual dollar card again click on add payment then open the clasher app to check our, our card details so i'll click on show card details to view the card details and then enter all the card details here the new card ends with 5246 let's click on save now the cheaper cash virtual card also works with facebook ads that's impressive all of the card tested here works with facebook ads but there's a problem and this is the major problem with virtual dollar cards you see when you run facebook ads your card will be charged daily depending on the amount you have set and number of days the ads will run Virtual dollar cards usually have a problem and the problem is that they do have downtimes, especially Clasher. Although I've not experienced any downtime with GeekPay, Grey and Shipper Cash, but Clasher usually have downtimes at times. Any of these cards could also have downtimes anytime and when this happens, if Facebook tries to charge your card and the card is experiencing downtime at the time, your Facebook ads will be stopped immediately until they are able to charge your card. You should bear that in mind. Meanwhile, in a separate video, I've compared all the virtual cards I've used before. I'll paste link to the video in the card above and also in the description below. You can watch the video if you are interested. So you can use your GeekPay, Gray, Shipper Cash and Clash of Virtual Dollar card for Facebook ads. And I'm also guessing this card should also work with Google ads. So that ought to be all for this video. I hope you find the video helpful. My name is Victor Smith and I'll see you in the next one.